Hi, do you like reading? Me too. My name's Rachel and this is my reading room. Come on in. Today, we're gonna learn all about the 10 steps to living with your monster. And this is written by Laura Numeroff and it's illustrated by Nate Evans. Would you like to read it? Come on. Laura Numeroff's 10 Step Guide to Living with Your Monster, illustrated by Nate Evans. Step one, find your monster. When choosing a monster, do not pick one who grabs you and starts to eat your shirt. Pick the monster who can play the banjo and tie his own shoes. Step two, taking your monster to the vet. On the way home, be sure to get your monster a checkup. Hold his hand and make sure he gets a lollipop. Do not give him green lollipops. Give those to your dad. Step three, naming your monster. When you get home, you'll want to give your monster a name. Give him one that everyone in the family likes. You don't want to call him Hercules when your sister calls him Fluffy. Some good no monster names are Ed, Bob, and Biff. Step four, feeding your monster. Monsters eat a lot. To save time, it might be easier for your family to move next door to the pet store. Your monster will also need a water dish. Step five, playing with your monster. Do not play fetch with your monster. Save this for your dog or your little brother. Set up a hoop for your monster to jump through. Make sure the hoop is bigger than your monster. Step six, going places with your monster. Take your monster for a drive and stop at all the gas stations along the way. Monsters love to buy gum. Step seven, training your monster. Teach your monster to sit. Say, sit. This may take some time. Step eight, singing with your monster. Monsters love country and Western music. Step nine, grooming your monster. Get your monster used to brushing his teeth. This won't be easy. Give your monster a bubble bath every month. Step 10, putting your monster to bed. Always read your monster a bedtime story. Do not tell your monster to count sheep. Counting sheep will make him hungry. Tuck him in, turn out his light, and give him a big kiss goodnight. Wow, now we know exactly how to take care of our monsters. Well, if you like this story, be sure to subscribe to Read Along with Rachel, where if you have a book, you have a friend, and I'm your friend too. Bye.